Now to Denmark, where the government is proposing legislation that would make it illegal to desecrate to holy books in public. Though it would apply to the Christian Bible and the Jewish Talmud, there's no doubt that it's in response to a recent spate of public burnings of the Muslim holy book, the Quran. Denmark and neighbouring Sweden have seen a number of such Quran burnings in recent weeks, provoking a backlash in Muslim countries. Here's the Danish Justice Minister, Minister Peter Hummelgaard. Freedom of expression is a cornerstone of democracy in Denmark. Therefore, the government wishes for a limited and precise legal intervention. The government will propose legislation that prohibits the inappropriate handling of objects with essential religious significance for a religious community. The bill will make it punishable, for example, to publicly burn the Quran, the Bible or the Torah. Let's explore this with uh, Anne-Sophie Alap, who's uh, op-ed editor at uh, Berlinske, a Danish uh, daily newspaper. Welcome to DW. Um, why have Denmark and Sweden seen this surge in Quran burnings? Um, well, uh, curiously, we have uh, a menace, a politician in common, somebody who is uh, half, uh, I think he's half Swedish, half Danish, at least he's got uh, family ties to both countries, who has in recent years become quite infamous or famous uh, by uh, burning uh, or urinating uh, on the, the Quran, uh, in, particularly in neighborhoods where there are many migrant uh, um, residents. So um, he has been touring uh, and stirring a, a storm in, in our countries. This is Rasmus Paludan. Other people. Yes, exactly. Okay. So he's been uh, stirring and, up this and, hate. Yes, and uh, and then you know uh, when when one does it, other people get the same idea. So the people who are burning Qurans are either right wing extremists, but we also have manifestations by uh, people who uh, have origins in in Muslim countries who are politically protesting um, the 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 faith uh, or the regimes built around uh, Islam um, and. And uh, they are a minority, but they uh, have different expressions, maybe not burning, but other forms of, uh, of expressions right. around uh, the Holy Book. So, so talk us through what the government's proposing then. What, what will change and whose Holy Books will be protected? And then I suppose you have to define what a religion is and what a, what a holy artifact is. Exactly. Uh, well, today, if, about a month ago, the government said what, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, ban this activity. And what everyone thought was that the government might sort of give uh, more expensive powers around the law of public order. Um, but what they in fact proposed today was to uh, put in uh, a new, um, a new uh, wording inside our penal code to criminalize the inappropriate or maybe even immoral uh, treatment of uh, objects that have a certain important uh, significance uh, to uh, religious significance to faith-based communities. And what is like immoral uh, or inappropriate? That's exactly uh, the judgment that police officers will have to uh, make when they stand uh, in the streets. Um, and a lot of people, uh, particularly people uh, who are lawyers like myself, have been saying, but this is going to be very, very difficult to administer because what is, is it immoral to wrap the Quran in, in a, a, a rainbow flag? let's say, um, what if it's in front of a, an embassy? There's a lot of different uh, interpretations here. And that interpretation, are, they're likely to be made by uh, police officers uh, in, uh, on duty. Talk us through some of the reaction. I, I guess Danish Muslims are, are welcoming this. What, what about the country's Christians and, and Jews and those of no faith at all? I mean, curiously, we have quite a, a big uh, part of the population who support uh, any kind of action to quell this. Um, to quell a lot which? Of to, 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 to quell the, the, the burnings or, or to, to, burnings, to quell the... All yes. oh, right. Okay. 
Yes, exactly. A, a lot of Danes find uh, the different burnings of Qurans uh, distasteful uh, and, and ridiculous uh, and, and also immoral. Um, so the government is not uh, acting against uh, the Danes, but a lot of uh, people are saying this is a very big a step back for freedom of expression in Denmark. And Denmark has a very strong tradition. Maybe you remember the cartoon crisis uh, of 2005 and 6, uh, where Denmark took uh, quite a big hit also on exports. Uh, to defend the right to critique a religion, also Islam. Um, and to us, it's been traditionally, we've said no hate speech against people, but we will have to be able to criticize ideas. And a religion is also an idea and even critique that might be uncivilized or, or even uh, brutish uh, has to be uh, able to uh, occur in our country. Right. So, so what um, changed so then? This what is quite a different... It, if, if there was this, if there was this, um, as, as you said, that this, this international backlash that, that happened in 2005, if the law didn't change then, what has changed so that people want to change the law now? I think what has changed is that um, over the past 15 to 20 years, Denmark has become uh, more of a collectivist country. Maybe Europe has become more collectivist. Uh, we are maybe willing to uh, have uh, um, politicians and, and governments um, be more sort of uh, go closer to our right of privacy and our freedoms. Um, because we think it's important in a kind of, in a in a time where uh, there are many different uh, people with, of different origins uh, together in our countries. Also, times are changing and not as secure as they were before. And I think that kind of um, leaves more of a room to, for a collective um, sort of, uh, rule setting of what is appropriate and what is not appropriate. And I've. I'm a columnist, and, and about a year and a half ago, I wrote a piece that said, I don't think that the cartoon crisis would be able to happen today. Uh, and what we've right. seen is the government has been very fast uh, moving to diplomatically uh, calm the waters, but also now to uh, try and legislate um, oh. to, to not have a, a repetition. Fascinating. We'll see where that goes. Thank you so much for uh, outlining that for us. And Sophie Alarp. Uh, from Danish uh, from Danish newspaper the Berlinska